Interesting. Uh, yeah, because that, that's that's the big question there, right? It's it's how do we how do we trap a Festus who is said to be everywhere, right? How how do we tra how do we trap that which is all over the world in every cauldron? So once Hephaestus has been recovered and merged, you'll regain the capacity to mass produce machines at cauldrons around the world. Yes, and to program their behavioral routines, or even control them directly. So could you build an army of machines? Attack the descendants of Far Zenith and take them out? It is in my nature to take any and all necessary steps to preserve life on Earth, human life above all. So yes, once I have been empowered with the capacities of Hephaestus, I could design, build, and command such an army. Given the nature of the Far Zenith threat, doing so may be our only option. I must admit, however, that I have misgivings about using such technology to kill, no matter how aggressive the enemy. That's good. It means you have a conscience. As Elizabeth intended. Indeed. <laughs> yes! Welcome to Lore Hour, everybody. Welcome to Lore Hour. The sole purpose of the signal was to destroy life on Earth, right? Why would descendants of Far Zenith want to do that? At this point, we can only speculate. I mean, Earth posed no threat to them. We don't have the technology to get in their way. We didn't even know about them. True. Unless... Well... Could it be that they want the planet for themselves? They want to come home. The strangers I ran into, they were after a Gaia backup of their own. I mean, if they did that... If they booted their own Gaia and boosted her power... Until she could take control of Hephaestus... And then the whole terraforming system. Then yes, the system could be used to do what the extinction signal failed to accomplish. Snuff out life, and then potentially to build an entirely new biosphere. To their specifications. So they could be trying to do the same thing we are. But with opposite results. Extinction. Instead of salvation. Well, this is not good. You said Sirius is really far from Earth. 81 trillion kilometers, or 8.611 light years. Right. So, how would the descendants have gotten here? On a spacecraft much like the Odyssey, though significantly more advanced. The journey from Earth to Sirius would have taken the Odyssey almost 300 years. This appears to have been much faster. If their ship departed Sirius at the same moment the extinction signal first began transmitting, the journey was made in just 29 years at an average of 0.297 the speed of light. If they did not set out for Earth until they learned of the extinction signal's failure, the journey was even faster, a mere 13 years, or 0.662 the speed of light. Okay, enough. You're making my head spin. Well, I, I, understandable. I understand it. The game is amazing, Tears, <laughs> and welcome. Hi. Uh, th this is stuff in lore hour for sure. The Hades Proving Lab. They, they had a clone of Elizabeth Sobek. So that's consistent with the idea that they came here to salvage Zero Dawn technologies, right? Yes. As your own experience demonstrates, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek functions in effect as a key to the terraforming system. But. How could they have made a clone? The Odyssey carried approximately 200,000 human zygotes, millions of animal zygotes, and billions of plant seeds. It is considered oh, nice. that Elizabeth Sobek's <laughs> well, genetic for material was sampled. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm loving the game. Knowledge, ...and carried aboard the ship in storage. That's... Okay, but... I mean... This, this clone... How could she participate in this? Destroying Elizabeth's dream? Well, she just said that the it's, clones are the key. It's evil. It is difficult to know. Perhaps she is loyal to the group and shares their objectives. 
Or perhaps she is a subordinate and has no choice but to comply with their orders. Elizabeth Sobek? A subordinate? I don't think so. I mean, I mean that, that that's true. Elizabeth Sobek, a subordinate? No. Elizabeth Sobek takes charge. However, when we met the strangers and the Elizabeth Sobek clone, the Elizabeth Sobek clone looks scared, if anything. That's that's the part. So there, there's something that they're holding on to. There's something that they're they're forcing her to do, and and for some, well, for the, for the reason of trying to terraform the planet again. But ah, uh, fuck. The extinction signal didn't just wake Hades; it made every subordinate function self-aware. Why? I have wondered this myself. So far as I can tell, Hades was the sole target, and the partial sentience imparted to other subordinate functions was incidental. Hmm. So the signal could only have been sent by someone who had thorough knowledge of the system, huh? Yes. Travis Tate. The Tate. signal's design was exceptionally precise and highly advanced. Were its intentions less malevolent, I would admire the intellect or intellects that produced it. Okay, fair. Uh, if I remember back in Zero Dawn, Travis Tate had something to do with with Hades possibly breaking out, right? So, I can't Travis fucking Tate. So if the He's descendants came to Earth on a spaceship, I guess we can assume that their technology is powerful in all sorts of ways, right? Yes, as your encounter with them at the Proving Lab amply demonstrates. They appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them from harm. Yeah, no kidding. The one I fought seemed indestructible. Throughout history, every defensive technology has eventually been defeated by an offensive counterpart. For example, assuming I absorbed Hephaestus and utilized it to create a large force of combat machines, no shielding could withstand such an assault indefinitely. So there's hope. Always. Well, guys, I guess you could say we have a new hope. <laughs> How did you figure out that the extinction signal came from Sirius? The key came with data on your focus from Silence interrogation of Hades. The duration of the signal itself. 17.22 years. That doesn't make sense. You said that the signal took 8.6 years to arrive from Sirius. Why would the signal keep transmitting after it was received and you blew yourself up? Because the sender didn't know that had happened until it received notice from Hades. Which would take another 8.6 years to get back. Correct. Only then would the sender stop broadcasting after a total of 17.22 years. So the duration, halved, gave me the distance the signal traveled. With that in mind, I simply scanned my astronomical database for any relevant location 8.6 light years away. Because it was far Zenith's intended destination, Sirius was the only logical source. Just got a point there. How long do we have then? I mean, we already know. At present know. rates, without additional factors, the biosphere will cross a point of no return in approximately four months. And if I gather Ether, Demeter, Poseidon, merge you with them? We already did this one, didn't we? I, I clicked on it again. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, <laughs> Fuck no. All right. Let's get started. I guess I should get going and start bringing back subordinate functions. What can you tell me about their locations? When my predecessor destroyed herself, the subordinate functions sought physical processors capable of holding them. So in each case, you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. Ether is the closest and therefore might be the easiest to acquire. However, it appears to be in the middle of Tanakh territory. My knowledge of that tribe is limited to data I read on your focus, but they seem to have a significant inclination towards violence. Well, that's a nice way to put it. What about Poseidon and Demeter? 
Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert south of this location. My substratal geography data indicates that a major old world settlement called Las Vegas was located there. A ruin in the middle of the Nevada. desert, huh? Nevada, okay. Strange place for an AI devoted to water. Agreed. As for Demeter, it appears to be located on the coast to the far west. Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any relevant data about the region. As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Okay, so three subordinate functions to go after. Aether, somewhere in Tanakh's territory. Poseidon in the desert, and Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? You know, it's, it's funny because... I was actually discussing the events of, of Zero Dawn with a co-worker of mine. Um, and Zero Dawn felt like it took place in, in Arizona. And if that's the case, it makes sense. It, that, that theory actually makes more sense now that we know that Poseidon takes up in a place that used to be called Las Vegas in Nevada. So... Ah, I'm so glad I actually knew about that. Well, we're like level 18 also. So, uh, Aether. I think I'll head for Aether. Then I will assign Aether as the objective on your focus. If you obtain it, I may be able to use it to quell the most severe storms in the region. Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines that it offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere. Should you change your mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface at any time. I will also transmit a summary of available data on all of the subordinate functions to you for reference. Is there anything else I can help you with? I know you have a great deal to accomplish. I do, don't I? It's time to get wrong? started. Um, I don't know. It's just that Elizabeth set the bar Bruh. pretty high. She had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and a lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. Do you think I can do it all? Repair the system? Defeat Varzenith? Live up to her example? Absolutely. In her last message, my predecessor declared her unwavering conviction in your success. In you, all things are possible. You prevailed in purging Hades and rebooting my system core. You will prevail in this. Thank you, Gaia. Well, I, uh, I guess I should get going. I have unlocked the facility's exits. One leads onward to the west. The other leads back down the mountain to Plainsong, should you wish to return east. Varl? Whoa! Gonna have to get used to that. That you, Aloy? Uh, yeah. Uh, who else? The guy has opened the exits to this place. Can you and Zoe meet me by the west door? Be right there. Ah, oh, fucking fantastic. Oh my god, they, they... Hades, Alpha Project Lead, Travis Tate. Motherfucker. Yeah, no, Hephaestus, look at that. Processing density at 39.4, so yeah, she was right. 41 is what we actually need for that. Like, bruh. <laughs> Fucking hell. Generation and broadcast of Pharaoh's form deactivation codes. Okay, merge with Gaia. Got it. Um, the travel analysis of travel percentage should result in improved watershed uh, fun, uh, conditions in the region, reducing the pro proliferation of toxic red algae. Sweet. Bruh. Uh, Luthia. Okay, Demeter. Soil conditions. Yeah, Artemis already fulfilled his. Apollo was wiped out. And Ether. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's fucking do it.
If we're gonna be honest, okay. I'm probably gonna go for like another 45 minutes, and that's purely that. because I just wanted to continue this well, and so see where it was going. The west exit. Well, just a, a heads up for everybody. First. Check on how Plain Song's sure. doing after the attack. Yes. Or I could I also look around here some more. Okay, well, there's not really anything to look around anymore, Aloy. I think I've explored after everything. You, Aloy. Got it. I need to head further west. To, um, get more of Gaia's components. Make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime. And Gaia can help get you up to speed. I'm not trying to shut you out. This, it's like... training. Actually, I'm gonna go back east to get Erend. Bring him here. Look, allies... Friends can help. We have a place to stay now. And like you said, Gaia can teach us. Catch us up. It'll be okay. Okay. Do you have one of these? Take these, then. One to wear, one for backup. Are you going with Smart. Him? No. After what happened in the cave below, I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Oh. Looking forward to it. When will you be back? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> eh? <laughs> but hopefully I'll have one of Gaia's missing components with me. Be careful out there. Even in Plainsong, we heard how the Tanakh clan lands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Good hunting, Aloy. Okay. There is a trophy for gliding for 60 seconds uninterrupted. I'm wondering where to get that, and I wonder if it's here. The Tanoth clan lands. Somewhere out there's three of Gaia's sub-functions. And who knows what else. Fire bristle back. I know of the acid kind, but there's a fire kind. There's all right. So many things are happening, and that these are the three subordinate functions. It's fine. Um, still have some side quests to do. More skill points. Uh, the enduring. Desert Clans Mark, okay. So I got that to go around. Salvage Contracts, uh, Hunting Grounds, Melee Pit. Uh, I'm, I'm curious why this isn't done, because it's, it's done. I've completed everything at the full three stripes. Uh, Melee Pit, I don't know why that one's not done either. I don't know what that is. Rebel Camps, that was a little more... That was understandable. Let's see... Okay. Well, damn it. Wait. I think I can override you. Ooh, what There's are you? Cauldrons out there. Are you the fire bristleback? Yes, you are. You look like nasty motherfuckers. What's up here? Uh, I don't know. Not for me. Out of the Gundam. Animal. <laughs> no secret. Ah. I'm not say. Okay, is that a? It's okay. It's a shelter. Sweet. I I I'm I I really love the fact that there's a bunch of like corruptors and deathbringers, uh, kind of just like scattered around, decayed, resting. Okay, we got some long legs. 
cooking my armor in this heat. Well, you're cooking your armor in this heat, and that's purely because it's frickin' Nevada, honey. It's, it's frickin', it's Nevada. What you expect? All right. Uh, let's see, outfit upgrade. Nah. Nah. All right. Fuck it. Now the, the question is, okay, hold on. Save. What the fuck is that? An owl? Oh, well, I did it. Is that another owl? It is. Okay, I see you, Mr. Goat. Alright, I see another owl. Okay. Well, there's a fire bristleback sight. Actually, I want to try and get... Sit down. I'm gonna get some animals taken care of here. And that's purely just because... Oh, look at them off in the distance. Um... Oh, can I look cactus? I can. It just turned into something tasty. Probably? I don't know. I've never had cactus. To be honest. Something tells me... That ain't friendly. Or maybe it is. That's not settlement. Uh, it is. Well, nah. Ish. Hey guys. How's it going? Not one more step. The hey. Tanakh don't suffer outlanders in the clan lands. I was given rite of passage by Marshal Fashav. I'm not here to fight. They're like blood. This is the warrior who defeated Gruda, champion of the traitor Regala. Her life is not ours to take. You may enter, but mind our ways. You will be watched. I'll keep that in mind. Okay, I have gained access. Howdy, everybody. I don't need a chaplain telling you a battle's no. needed. The real battle is arguing with you. May your Look, fall. we don't get those hearts, we don't get water, and everyone dies. What's going on? <sighs> I'm going back to the pens. I'll gut those machines myself. So machines did this? An Easterner with a hair like blood. The outlander from the embassy. <laughs> the you one who killed, killed the other Ray. guy. Regala's champion. He was one of ours. It's Aloy, and I'm not looking for any trouble. Well, maybe I could use some trouble right about now. Oh, quit Out it. there is a big herd my people harvest. We take the machine's hearts, send them to our capital, get paid with water. It gets harder every year. Killer machines keep showing up to defend the herd. Last one hit us right as we were penning up our prey. Nearly wiped us out. But our quarry is still in the pens, which means if I can get their hearts, we can trade for the water we need. If you go out there alone, you'll probably wind up dead, Draka. I'm not going alone, Chaplain. The great champion killer is coming with me. How about you answer some questions first? Yeah. I got questions. What can you tell me about this herd? Been there for years. We harvest the parts we need from it. No more, no less. New machines always show up to replace our kills. What about the killer machines you mentioned? They guard the herd. The more we take out, the more arrive. First sawtooths, then ravagers. 
Now, a sandblasted Thunderjaw hit us right as we were herding machines into our pens. Had to leave half my hunters behind to fend it off. Only survivors are the ones you see here. So, you, you, you want me to take on a, a You mentioned the capital gives you water. There's no giving. We pay tribute for it with machine parts. Hearts being the most valuable. Every other desert village has some resource to exchange. But the capital of Scalding Spear is the only one with a constant supply of water. Here in dry country, it's the same as holding everyone's lives in their hands. It is the way of the desert. How we've always survived. Welcome to Nevada. Yeah. Doesn't sound like you like this commander of yours. Survival in the desert requires a more disciplined approach than that of other clans. It means she really likes her rules and order. But you don't. I just don't like hers. This is insubordination. Well, I must be dehydrated. I heard him calling you chaplain. What does that mean? It means I've survived our youth and outlived my brethren in many battles. As such, I counsel the desert clan. Those who reach my age are meant to share our wisdom with the young. Keep them on the true warrior's path when their stubbornness kicks up dust and clouds it. <laughs> you knew Regala's champion, Gruda. He was one of ours. So was Regala. Desert Clan's pride and joy. Why is she attacking her own people? She feels betrayed. Regala was a legend among our clan. Fearless and unrelenting. A marshal to Hikaru, chief of all Tanakhth. His judgment made flesh. What changed? The Karja king asked for peace, and Hikaru agreed. Regala wanted payment in kind for the atrocities the Karja committed. A Tanakh empire that would push into the east. So she challenged Hikaru's decision. He had no choice but to face her in combat. Hikaru won. She should have died by his hand then, but the chief let her live. For Tanakh, that kind of mercy is a bitter drink. Now that she rides machines and murders marshals, we might not be able to ignore her camps in the desert for much longer. No one in the desert clan's touching those camps. This is between Regala and Hikaru. If the chief's strong enough to lead, he'll prevail. If he doesn't, he'll make way for one who is. That's a little harsh, isn't it? So is the desert. I just got a point. I'll help you harvest those pen machines if I can. Probably better if you don't do it on your own. Seems like your village needs you right now. I like her. An outlander after my own heart. We can leave now or I can meet you at our outpost southeast of here. Ah, uh, I'll meet you there. I have something to take care of first. You go on ahead. I'll wait at the outpost for as long as I can. May the ten protect you then. I'll await your return. I'll, I'll see you in about 10 hours. <laughs> yeah, you do that. Uh, yeah, why not? Hold on. Wow, look at all the... Uh, to get the best benefit from that, you need to time it right. All right, weapons. Rope caster, shredder gauntlet. Ugh. Is that all you have? Lame. I kind of don't want to sell it because it's it's early stuff that they gave me for DLC type shit. But uh, do it. Fucking hell, I did it. Well, I did it. I'm rich. Heard of you, Outlander. Yeah, well, if, if only you had more shit for me to, to buy, that was better. I could use some better shit, honestly. The fuck is this? Why do you have a bellow back just strung up here? And why can't I scan? 
said fellow back. Sir? <laughs> Hello? Okay, you can't tell me there's this, this huge fortress and I can't really go anywhere in it? Come on. <laughs> Don't tell me that. That's a shot for some market. Okay. Interesting. I think it was left behind by Marshal Fischel. Who's this? The chef. Oh, the famous Nora. Let's have a trade. Nope. I'm good. Anyone up for a game of machine strike? Uh, I will get to you later. And I say that because... I don't really know where I want to go. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. I know it's that way. Is that a rebel outpost? It is. Sweet. Alright. Ether's coordinates are this way. There is a canister burrower. Apex Frost Canister Burrower. Fire Canister Burrower. Vulture. Oh, fucking hell. Got it. Those are the fire bristles? Yep. There's a lot of these peppers. I think I'm gonna go up this way. Ah, yes. That does it. Acid canister burrower. Another vulture. <laughs> Give me that meat. Well, um, this just screams bad guy. Just saying. I don't know. Get up there, hey, look. Get up there. Dyer can make use of this. Get up there. Delta ordinance. I kind of want to know what's over here. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, hi. You throw a rock at me? I thought we were best buds. Lame. All right, I am seriously curious. 
packs full, but my stash has room. <laughs> I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. What is this place? This looks like a final, like... This is the place that we're going to be assaulting. Kind of place. No, it's a settlement? Uh, okay. Wasn't the other place a settlement? That's the base. That's Arrowhand. Okay, so like, settlement, settlement. Like, Chain Scrape and, and, and Baron Light. Chain Scrape had a, um... Ooh, actually... Chain Scrape had a melee pit. I've been trying to find the other melee pit, and I'm guessing it's in here. Oh, 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 yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Hold your horses. Melee pit, y'all. <laughs> hey. What's going on here? Close combat training. Fighting at long range is a good strategy for machines. But fighting an enemy soldier means getting up in their face. Yeah, it does. I'm Lee Rocke. I run the training pit here in Scalding Spear. Only a few outlanders have ever made it out this far west. But from what I've heard, you're a pretty good fighter. You can train here if you like, but you're only allowed your spear and a practice bow in the pit. Everything else stays with me. Fine. And if you're looking to test your fighting skills, I also offer challenges. Complete all of them, and you'll get to go up against me. And what happens if I beat you? I'll grant you a mark to prove you've mastered this training pit. If you earn marks from me and the pit masters of the Bulwark and Thorn March, you'll earn the right to challenge the Enduring. I think I've heard of the Enduring. Some kind of Tanakh's trainer? More than just a trainer. The Enduring is a legendary fighter among the clans. The master of masters. Only those who prove themselves in the pits get to train with the Enduring. Including Outlanders? Yes. If you can beat all the pit masters. So. What will it be? Should you want to practice or take on a challenge? Just let me know. Okay, I wanted to make sure I had all these right. Ooh. Uh, bop, bop, pause. Bop, bop. Let's try it. My strength is yours. Side huh. is a spin attack that hits multiple targets and clears space around you. Well, glad I know that one. Cool. That's what I need is energy surge, but I need to unlock that. Uh, all right, challenges. Fuck up, bop, 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 bop. Then a basic combo, follow up with a power attack. And finish with a resonator blast to maximize damage. All right, gotta get all those in there, right? All right. Just as you can combine single attacks, you can also chain combinations. Try it with this one. Did it. All right, so bop, bop, and resonator blast while in air. Okay. Damn it. I'm 
something different. I want you to practice using aerial slash to chain into an aerial shot. That was a tougher one. I'll give it that. It's just a matter of getting it right. All right. Just kill him. <laughs> kill him. Got it. All right. I yield. Really? That was a good fight. Pretty sure I'll have a bruise to remember it by. Here. A mark is promised. Thanks. One down, I guess. Uh, Go to the training pits in the uh, Bulwark and Thorn Marsh. Earn their marks, then you can challenge the Enduring. That, 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 was, that was... Few have ever done so. It? But I think you might have a shot. And if you want to train more or take on another challenge, let me know. The pit will always welcome you. That's enough practice for now. Strike true as the ten. I swear to God, do you still have your thing? Okay, you do still have your thing. I wonder if it's just a... Where are you? Oh, thanks. Up here, got it. Ah, the wandering out. Yeah, what do you got? 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 Come on. Oh, ho, 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 ho. There it is. The purple stuff. Corrosive blast sling. So we got blast and acid. Okay. Fire and regular. Regular and acid. Interesting. Am I going to have my uh, my triple? Ooh. Ooh. No, that's plasma. Interesting. Very... Very interesting. The fact that you can just... <laughs> oh, the fact that you can just buy those is so nice. I already sold everything, didn't I? Yeah, pretty much. All right, well... <laughs> The fact of the matter is, I need new weapons, but I also need to face the new creatures to get said weapons. It's my guess. What's up top? What is up top? Potion. This is your opportunity Come on, then. to buy fine Step goods. up for a game of strike. Yep, there's the board game. Okay. Any anyone else? All right, let's go see what this, um... Trade is welcome. This, uh, side quest is all about. Let's see what it's about. All right, man, what do you, you want? wanted to speak to me? The name's Zoka. Have you heard from up north? From Bleeding Mark? I'm guessing that's a place. One of the desert's villages. They send their yield of ash blood so the Bereka over there can mark the skin of our soldiers. But it's been a long time since the last supply run. Too long. If you think something happened to them, can't you send someone to go check? Were it up to me. But the capital's already dealing with machines, storms, and strict water rations. No one can be spared. You mentioned the village up north sends some supplies to the capital. Ash blood? It's a crimson stone that we grind into powder for our ink. Bleeding Mark has the largest supply. Our soldiers there gather and deliver it to us, in exchange for their water rations. Die for water. Everyone in the clan depends on the wound in the sand for their water. Capital and outlying village alike. But the last delivery of ash blood was weeks ago. 
Our supply is running low. So must be their water. My face paint will strike fear in your enemies. Take a look. Or a death seeker. What? Oh. <laughs> we can look pretty. I'm doing the death seeker. If I'm out that way, I can look in on the village, find out what's the delay. You have my thanks. Head north to a ruin where the desert meets the mountains. That's Bleeding Mark. Ask for Kentok or Natika there. They'll know what's going on. Okay. Okay. Let's real quick. Gonna say, let's real quick see where we're at. There's a cauldron up north. Which is interesting. Yeah, that is very interesting. Um, yeah, there's there's still so much to do. There is still so much to do, but the fact that I have the melee pit done is nice. All right, let's do the tall neck. See if we can get that done ASAP. I even see it right off the bat. Charger site, huh? Bruh. Sounds like there are people in trouble. Nora's fighting the Chargers! Well... That doesn't mean you can stop fighting them! We're not out of this yet! Rise to the challenge! Now we have a chance! Pick your target! Time, fire Ooh. discipline, Hatakto! It's that one, Kitaka! Watch them! <laughs> Well, first off, you're doing it all wrong. Okay. Don't lose track of them. That's the last of the chargers. Let's find out what those Tanakh are doing here. Well, let's just say I'm a huge not fan of yours. All things considered. Head down to the rocks, draw them away. Your orders. Only they didn't mention the other machines that were standing right behind the rock. And I didn't order you to sprint into them with your eyes. <laughs> always expect danger. Hey, always expect danger, blah blah blah. Whatever. <laughs> Alright, where's the loot? I can get it for my stash later. Shout out to the sky. Let's go. There we go. Vulture feather. That's what I'm looking for. That's important. All right. What do you guys want? I'm uh, guessing you're a Tanakh patrol. What is that hair? How did you end up in trouble with those chargers? You need to answer our questions. We don't answer yours. Hatakto, she just fought on our side. That doesn't mean she's an ally. That's pretty much exactly what that means. And we've <laughs> enough to do chasing down these Regala zealots without picking fights with Nora warriors. Regala's desert to knock. We should be fighting alongside her instead of sitting this out. Regala has forgotten her duty and let her anger at the Karja draw us into. We will speak about this later. You fought with courage and honor. You're free to go on to the grove, Nora. The Grove? Our capital. If you want to spend time in this area, you'd be wise to check in with the commanders there. 
Skull has broken her duty, then why are we Yeah, okay, go? first, uh... <laughs> I got some business of my own. Just saying. What the fuck is that? Yep. Nope. Ain't touching it. What are you? Oh, fuck. Fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. Okay. So we've got two Ravagers. There was a bro over here a second ago. How in the fuck do you intend to get me up there? Fine. I don't mind. the other Ravager, huh? Spikes now. Well, I know what those are now. Alright, well, I found the other Ravager. Let's go. Just ow. So, how am I going to? It. 
And you know what? I'm curious to take on one of these spike snouts, but I feel like I'm going to be taking on multiples. Um, knowing my luck. Yeah. All right, hold on. Let's... Oh, I see you, big boy. Yeah, that's gonna be enough. Oh, so menacing. Doesn't look like I can climb this guy. At least for now. I just shot a scorpion. Hey, even Aloy was like, I don't think I'm going to be able to... I'll stash this away for later. Horned lizard. Okay, horned lizard skin. Got it. You know what? Let's, uh, let's do it. I got a few minutes. Let's make sure everything's topped up. Eh, just about. All right, let's fucking do it. You know, we're going to do a hard, hard save. Let's do it. Better draw time. Of course. They override for fang horns should work now. Yeah, they should. You're doing a you're doing a straight circle. I'm gonna let you pass for now. I'm gonna take on one of these fang horns. Just you, just you, just you. We're gonna do this, we're gonna do this right. Before I get myself caught up. Don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare. Baby, come back. Can I mount you? No, I can't. All right. <laughs> Am I far enough away? Yep. 
Here we go. Here we go.
I'm sorry I haven't been talking much, but fucking intense, isn't it? I had it. Are you fucking kidding me? I thought it would just been a weapon pickup. Are you fucking kidding me? Well, I mean, that's already all the time I already had for today. So, that being said, I was going to call it quits anyways. But this is just for sure. Fuck you, Thunderjaw. I'll take you on in the next stream. All right, fuck you. That's all I can say. A little bit of a rage quit, but at the same time, it's all I got for today. Uh, in the meantime, I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. Adios. Bye-bye.